Number 89. Lauren and Ricky are driving toward each other at a rate of 40 miles per hour and 50 miles per hour, respectively. If they are currently 360 miles apart, how many hours will it take for them to pass each other? So let's say this is Lauren. I'm just going to write L. And let's say she's driving towards the right. And Ricky is going in the other direction. He's driving towards the left. Eventually, they're going to meet each other. And they're currently 360 miles apart. How long will it take for them to meet each other? What do you think we need to do? Let's say that DL is the distance that Lauren travels from where she is to the point where she meets up with Ricky. And DR is going to be the distance that Ricky travels. So their combined distance, DL plus DR, must add up to 360. So let's say that DL plus DR equals 360. Now this is a distance rate time problem. So distance is equal to the rate or the speed. In physics, V is like velocity or speed. Perhaps you've seen this equation, D equals RT. V and R, they both mean how fast the person is going. Now let's write an expression for Lauren, the distance that she travels, DL. Now her speed is 40 miles per hour. So let's replace a V with 40. We don't have the time that she's been traveling, but the time that it takes for Lauren to go from point A to point B is the same time that it takes for Ricky to go from C to B because they're gonna meet up at the same time. So we don't need a subscript for T because it's gonna be the same for Lauren and Ricky. So we'll just write T. So the distance that Lauren travels is simply 40t, where t is going to be in hours. The distance that Ricky travels, he's traveling at a speed of 50 miles per hour, so it's going to be 50t. So replacing dl with 40t and dr with 50t, we can now calculate t. So 40 plus 50 is 90. If we divide both sides by 10, we can basically cancel a zero. So we have 9t is equal to 36. Dividing both sides by 9, we see that t is 4. So it's going to take 4 hours for Lauren to pass Ricky or for them to meet up at the middle. It may not be exactly at the middle, but they're going to meet up at some point. But it's going to happen 4 hours later. So that's the answer for this problem. Number 90, Arnold spends three hours driving north at an average speed of 60 miles per hour and five hours at an average speed of 70 miles per hour in the same direction to Michigan. What is his average speed for the entire trip? So he's traveling in one direction, but in different speeds. So let's say that he's currently at point A and he wants to get to point C. And let's say point B is in the middle. During the first part of his trip, it takes him three hours of travel time. And he's traveling from A to B at an average speed of 60 miles per hour. Now, during the second part of his trip, it takes him a time of five hours going at an average speed of 70 miles per hour. So going from point A to point C for the entire trip, what is the average speed? What do you think the average speed, what do you think the range for the average speed will be? Well, we know it has to be between 60 and 70. Would you say the average speed is 65, or would you say it's between 60 and 65, or 65 and 70? Notice that he spends more time traveling at a higher speed. 
So therefore, I would say that the average speed for the entire trip should be in this region, close to 70. That is between 65 and 70. But how can we calculate the average speed for the entire trip? So going back to this equation, distance is equal to the rate or the speed multiplied by the time. So we need to solve for V. Let's divide both sides by T. So V, we're going to use it to represent the average speed, is going to be the distance D divided by the time. But we don't know the total distance that he traveled. We do know the total time. The total time is 8 hours. It's 3 plus 5. But what is the total distance? We don't know that. But we can calculate excuse me, we can calculate the distance for each segment of the problem using this equation again. So the distance going from A to B is equal to the speed, which is 60 miles per hour, multiplied by a time of three. And so 60 times three gives us a distance of 180 miles. So that's the distance between points A and B. Now what about between points B and C? Using the same formula, we're going to use the speed of 70 miles per hour with a time of 5 hours. So that's going to be 350 miles. So now we know the total distance. It's basically the sum of 180 and 350. One eighty plus three fifty is five hundred and thirty. So we have a total distance of five hundred thirty miles, and it took him eight hours to travel that distance. So dividing those two numbers, this gives us an average speed for the entire trip, which is sixty six point two five miles. I mean miles per hour. So let's fix that. And so as we thought of, I mean as we assumed. The average speed is between 65 and 70, because as we said before, he spends more time traveling at a higher speed. So the average is going to be closer to 70 than it is to 60. 91. Luke travels at an average speed of 20 miles per hour going to work. It takes him two hours to make the return trip home, traveling at an average speed that is 10 miles per hour faster than his morning commute. How long does it take Luke to drive to work? Well, let's draw a picture or let's represent the situation. So let's say this is his home and here is where he needs to go to get to work. So during the first part of the trip, that's during his morning commute, He's traveling at an average speed of 20 miles per hour. Our goal is to calculate the time it takes for him to go from home to work. Now, during the return trip, driving back home, it takes him a time of two hours to do that. Now, what about his speed? What is his average speed going from work to home? or from his job to his house. Now we know that it's 10 miles faster than his morning commute. So it's 10 more than 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. So with this information, how can we calculate the time it takes for him to drive to work? What we need to understand about this problem is that the distance going from his house to his job is the same as going from his job to his house. So if we can calculate the distance during the second part of the problem, we can use that to calculate the time in the first part of the problem, since the distance has to be the same. So using this formula, for the second part, his speed is 30 and his time is two hours. 30 times two is 60. So the distance between his house and his job is 60 miles. So now for the first part of the problem, we can calculate T. D is still 60, 
v is 20. So dividing both sides by 20, we see that the time it takes for him to drive to work is 60 divided by 20, or 3 hours. So this right here is the answer for this problem.